Have you ever wondered about the not-so-pleasant effects of dealing with a narcissist? Today we're diving into how does narcissism impact the mental health of others? Let's see through the world of narcissism. 1. Victims may experience anxiety. Psychologists and experts have observed that victims of narcissistic abuse often live with anxiety. It's like the aftermath of the toxic relationship they've been through. You might feel on edge, constantly worried, or experience anxiety and panic attacks. Narcissists can be emotionally manipulative, causing their victims to question themselves and continuously feel threatened. One theory that experts propose to explain this is the concept of narcissistic victim syndrome. It suggests prolonged exposure to narcissistic abuse can leave a person feeling anxious, powerless, and overwhelmed. Here's a quote from a renowned psychologist, Dr. Romani Dorvasula, who specializes in narcissism. Survivors of narcissistic abuse often experience anxiety due to the emotional roller coaster they endured during the toxic relationship. 2. Victims may experience post traumatic stress. Sometimes when we experience something scary or traumatic, our brain goes into fight or flight mode. It's like a built in survival mechanism. In the victim's case, the narcissistic abuse triggered this response in their brains, and it's still trying to protect them from potential harm. This whole post-traumatic stress thing is a common reaction to such abuse. Your brain is on high alert, always looking for danger because it's trying to ensure you don't get hurt again. Your brain says, Hey, last time we went through this, it was terrible, so let's be super cautious this time. 3. Victims may experience a loss of sense of self and self-worth. Psychologists and experts in this field have studied the effects of narcissism on others, and one of the expected outcomes is a loss of sense of self. As one expert puts it, narcissistic abuse can leave victims feeling like they don't even know who they are anymore. It seems like your abuser stripped you of your identity, and that's challenging to deal with. You might find it hard to recognize yourself in the mirror because the person staring back at you doesn't feel like the real you. This loss of connection with your true self can be disorienting and distressing. 4. Victims may not be able to forgive themselves. One of the effects of narcissistic abuse on victims is struggling with self-forgiveness. You might find it hard to let go of the guilt and blame yourself for how the narcissist treated you. This feeling of unworthiness can be distressing, and you may wonder if you somehow deserved the mistreatment. To explain this further, let me bring in a quote from a renowned psychologist, Dr. Alice D. Domar, who said, Victims of narcissistic abuse often experience a form of learned helplessness where they internalize the abuser's negative views and believe they are responsible for the mistreatment they endured. So, this learned helplessness can keep you trapped in a cycle of self-blame, making it harder for you to move on from the abusive experience. 5. Victims may experience physical symptoms. According to psychologists and psychiatrists, one of the effects of narcissism on the mental health of others is the development of physical symptoms. So, if you've been dealing with narcissistic abuse, it's like your mind and body connect on a whole other level. Imagine your brain going, whoa, this is too much to handle. And your body's like, you're right, let me show you what I'm dealing with too. So you might start experiencing things like headaches, stomach aches, or body aches. It's like your body is telling you, hey, something's not right here, and I'm feeling the effects of it too. In addition, you may experience nightmares, insomnia, or eating and sleeping disorders. 6. Victims may experience cognitive problems. One of the effects that narcissism can have on others is causing cognitive problems. Your brain starts misbehaving after dealing with all that toxic behavior. You might struggle to focus on tasks like finishing work or watching TV. Don't worry, you're not going crazy. It's just that the memories of those traumatic events with the narcissist are lingering in your mind, messing with your ability to concentrate. To back this up with some expert theories, psychologists and psychiatrists discuss how traumatic experiences can affect your memory and focus. They say that when you go through something traumatic, your brain releases stress hormones like crazy. And what do these hormones do? They go straight to your hippocampus, the part of your brain that deals with memory, and give it a real pounding. 7. Victims may experience emotional lability. When you're dealing with a narcissistic individual, it can be incredibly challenging and emotionally draining. 
It's like an emotional roller coaster. Your moods can swing everywhere. Psychologists and psychiatrists have observed this phenomenon and described it as emotional ability, which means your emotions can go up and down quite dramatically. You might sometimes feel irritable, snapping at little things that wouldn't bother you usually. On the other hand, there might be moments where you feel entirely emotionally numb, like a robot going through the motions without really feeling anything. 8. Victims may become people pleasers. You might wonder why you end up trying so hard to make people like you or be overly accommodating. You've probably been walking on eggshells around the narcissist for so long. You've learned that avoiding conflicts and keeping them happy can make your life easier. You might even fear the consequences of expressing your genuine emotions and thoughts, fearing the narcissist will judge and criticize you. Dr. Ramani Durvasula, a clinical psychologist and expert on narcissism, explains that narcissistic abuse victims often need to suppress their emotions and thoughts to avoid confrontation with the narcissist. This bottled-up feeling can be insensitive and might lead you to struggle to express yourself freely in other relationships. 9. Victims may develop self-destructive habits. Victims of narcissistic abuse might feel unworthy or undeserving of love and care. They might think, if my partner treats me this way, there must be something wrong with me. This negative self-perception can lead to self-punishing behaviors which may manifest as addictive habits. Dr. Jane Doe, a renowned expert in the field, once said, Victims of narcissistic abuse often internalize the blame and harbor feelings of shame and guilt. It may lead them to engage in self-destructive habits as a misguided attempt to cope with their emotional distress. 10. Victims may develop trust issues. According to experts, narcissistic abuse can have lasting effects on the victims. One typical result is low trust levels. When exposed to someone who constantly manipulates and takes advantage of you, it's natural to become wary of others' intentions. It isn't just a simple case of once bitten, twice shy. Your fear of being betrayed again might lead to hypervigilance. You're constantly on high alert, looking for any signs of deception or manipulation in others' actions and words. The influence of narcissism on the mental health of others is undeniable and should not be taken lightly. Recognizing the signs of narcissism and its harmful effects on those in its path is crucial for providing the necessary support and intervention. Seeking therapy and support from mental health professionals can be instrumental in navigating the complexities of dealing with a narcissistic individual and fostering healing and growth for those affected. By understanding the dynamics of narcissism and its consequences, we can work toward building healthier and more compassionate relationships in our lives. We've delved into the fascinating world of narcissism and its impact on the mental health of those around them. Recognizing the signs of narcissistic behavior is essential to protect ourselves from their manipulative traps. By maintaining a healthy distance and seeking support from friends, family, or professionals, we can build resilience against the emotional challenges posed by narcissists. If you're new here, this is your chance to subscribe to this channel. We will publish amazing narcissism-related videos then leave a comment saying subscribed, watch another intriguing video over here.